Good morning. So tomorrow, we've got a strength workout that's focusing on the glutes and the core. Remember, these two work really well together to hold our pelvis level, reduce pressure on our low back. So it's a great one to keep our low backs healthy. So we're gonna start with a warm up. 10 body weight good mornings. We're really practicing the hinge pattern, feeling the bum go back, feeling the weight go back into our heels. Five walkouts. So we get the hands on the ground, we're pressing down with our fingers, grabbing a handful of ground. And as we walk out, try and get the pressure on your thumbs. And you're gonna get that by screwing your hands into the ground, tightening your shoulders. And then five jump squats. Those are into work on building power, nice catch, knees out over toes, good squatting pattern, and explosively getting up into the air. And then we're gonna start the workout with five sets of 10 dumbbell hang power cleans. Now you'll see in the workout, it's actually programmed with a tempo where we want to lower the dumbbells down, reset, and really focus on getting that hip snap to get the dumbbells up. It's a little bit different than just cycling the dumbbells up and down like we would do in say an EMOM, working on Metcon or the heart rate. And then we're gonna pair that with 10 alternating toe taps. So 10 touches per toe. We're lying on our back, feet are up nice and high, we're gonna reach up, alternating, touching the toes, 10 per side or 20 reps total. Then we're gonna get on to five sets of these four exercises, which is going to be all complementary work to the primary glute and core work we were doing at the start. We got eight reps per side, a single leg squat to box. So we need a chair, a couch. All we're gonna do is balance on the one leg, push our knee forward, try and softly touch the box or the couch or the, the chair, whatever we're coming down to, and then come on back up. This is all about control and single leg control. Okay, 15 cyclist squats. This we're gonna have our feet nice and tight together and we're gonna have our heels slightly raised. We're gonna pump up and down. This is really gonna isolate the quads of the front of the legs. 15 trap three raises. So we're gonna be bending over and we're gonna be moving our arms in three positions. We're gonna move them into a Y, we're gonna move them in slightly, sorry, out straight to a T, to a Y, and straight up with an I. Now we wanna be bent over so our body is parallel to the ground. We're not gonna need a lot of weight here, so even like a, a soup can or a water bottle would be more than sufficient. This is more about controlling the muscles that control our shoulder blade and hold our shoulder blade down and back. And then 12 biggie smalls. So we're laying down on the back, we're gonna stretch out, we're nice and big, and then we're gonna crunch up, bringing the weight, the dumbbell, the, the uh, kettlebell over top of our shins or body weight, and then we're nice and small. We're in that hollow hold position, and then we're gonna crunch right up, out, in and out 12 times. We're gonna work through this resting as needed, working through our five sets, but a little bit slower pace than today's pacing workout, and it'll help us get ready for the Wednesday's workout. Hope to see you online tomorrow.